Hello, my name is Shadow Leon. Welcome back for another episode of Shadow Empire. In previous episode, we managed to push the enemy back over here a little bit. We didn't take much land, but, you know, we didn't take too many losses. And the enemy definitely lost a lot more than what we did. Admittedly, you know, they've got probably fairly cheap, these light tanks that they have. Although, actually, when you think about it... Um, well, I mean, okay, this one's not necessarily the best uh, example. But they've got the howitzer guns of 60mm, and then they've got the max steel plating... Heavy diesel engines, so they are relatively expensive, actually, when you think about it. And the stats aren't necessarily all that great, either. But we managed to do a, quite a dent on the enemy units that they've had here. And I think next round, if these uh, troops have enough oil and all that, we might be able to push this stack out as well. And, you know, slowly but surely, if we're going to get at least to this river line, and then maybe go for the airfield that they had in here, that would already be a massive victory for us in terms of, uh, well... Maybe not that massive victory in the end, but, you know, it's still a good start on pushing the enemy back. And, you know, our tanks will have gotten quite a bit of experience by then. I mean, if you have a look at the... Okay, so the all-rounders over here are quite seasoned. And uh, metalheads are all seasoned. No veterans yet. But they're getting there. Actually, I suppose what I could do is I could also put in the... Sydney Priest in there to increase the defensive power. Is there anything else? Yeah, no, let's go with the Sydney Priest. Same with the all-rounders. And also, the other tanker over here is going to get that. What does the scavenger team do? Oh, whenever you kill, or whenever the um, units that they're embedded to make a kill, you get some uh, credits from the kills. It goes two units total. Okay, fair enough. But I think it's it's time to go to the next round. and see how bad the... Or will they do a counter-attack? on either the north or the south here. It's mostly the eastern front that we're worried, although we do need to get a bit more troops in here in the southern front. The west front, it's, you know, they've got a lot of uh, motorized stuff and tanks and all that, but they can't get across the mountain. As long as I hold the ground such a way that they can't build the road across the mountain, then, you know, it's something that we can just hold on for now. I mean, eventually they'll probably reach us uh, from the northern, or well, north. I suppose we could say the western front, or the northwestern front. Well, the northwestern front would also mean the one all the way up north. Oh, that was a bit of combat. Oh, and we just annihilated them in that combat. Okay, we'll need to have a look at the actual stats there after the... Or once it's back to our round. But I think we destroyed like 80 tanks there. Well, some of them may have been, you know, armored cars and such. But still, that was a good battle for us. I didn't see any losses for us in that. Okay, we killed 60 tanks. Regardless, that was still a pretty good one. And there we go, we got the artillery upgrade done. Right, let's have a look at the battle then. So yeah, there was... Um... Okay, there's 10 armored cars that were destroyed and 50 tanks. Some of which were actually the Wolf 4s, which are probably the most advanced that they have, I reckon. Still nothing compared to what we have, of course, uh, with the heavy tanks. I mean, it's still light tanks, so it can't really do miracles as such. Uh, model design, I think we might just uh, go for a little bit heavier on the design itself. And we need another uh, design target. Uh, so we got the better artillery, we got the better anti-tank gun. Uh, we could get a better flak gun. I don't know if we really need to worry about that one though. Better mechanized artillery might not be bad either. Um, you know what, I did say that I wanted to get better medium tank gun, or medium tanks. So let's uh, develop our all-rounders a bit further. So we will be, or we have been using the 60mm uh, high velocity gun, we could go for the 88mm and then maybe go for 100mm uh, of steel uh, plate and then, actually, no, hold on a minute, was there any other options there? Let's uh, do this again real quick, so the 88mm high velocity gun, no, it's still steel plating, so we'll go for the 100mm at least. Which gives a bit more survivability. We'll go with the double diesel engine, which does mean a lot more fuel use, but it's all right. I might have worked a strike in Spock and Mania. Uh, we'll give him some of the demands. Saboteurs and Katmandos. We'll investigate who the saboteur is. Uh, we failed. Unrest increased quite a bit. Waste disposal accident in Unsung D. You will have my full support. There's increase, but oh right, so we got another failure, I believe. Yeah. We failed by 14 points. Talent recruitment drive in Ansang D. We'll increase the meritocracy a bit further. Special meeting with alien natives. Right, uh, we could try to ask them to help us uh, learn the language. 
Or, yeah, we'll try to learn the language. Yes, sir. Oh, is Union Community Office to help us? Uh, we could decline their kind offer. Uh, we could try to ask for money. Uh, whoever this is, is the Military Research Council. That, right, or the Director of Military Research Council. Really doesn't want to ask for help. I mean, admittedly, that would improve relations with a lot of these other leaders as well. And, oh, right, yeah, it would also decrease relations. No, we don't want to decrease relations with Etienne and Community right now, so let's go with the sort of uh, independent option, as it were. All right, so this one doesn't have enough fuel to attack there. That one doesn't have enough fuel either. But yeah, we had a pretty good combat in here. I suppose that is what used up some of the fuel, admittedly. Uh, did we have any better... Uh, hold on a minute. The biker units. Motorcycle, yeah. We do have the biker twos, okay. We'll get at least uh, one of these for the recon unit in here. Got some extra infantry still. I do want to have a look at the upgraded artillery though, so let's uh, take a gander at that. So first of all, uh, just to get a bit of an idea, so the soft attack is uh, hard attack 22. It's got one range. I mean, I don't think we can get a higher range than that. It's a rocket artillery that has a larger range, depending on the... Right, we haven't actually checked the rocket artillery's range too much. Uh, but yeah, if we have a look at the upgraded one, so it's 23, so it's slightly higher heart attack and slightly higher soft attack, so it's not really that much more. It does do three attacks per round. How much did the other one? So yeah, it's the same range and all that. It's two attacks, so it's an extra attack per round. Oh, we had the armor strength plus 28 there. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, these have quite a bit of hit points there. Almost 400, whereas these have, so it's almost double hit points. That's pretty decent. Admittedly, we go from battered advisors into the combat armor. So that is already a massive boost there. Also, what was the rocket artillery? I know that we've... Uh, or rocket launcher. It's got three hex range. Okay. Does use quite a bit of ammo to fire. Uses a lot of fuel. Moves on wheels, at least, so it can move on its own. It has an adequate engine. Okay. That's good. Now, let's have a look at the... If we were to raise a rocket launch... Oh, right, we needed the mechanisms or machinery for that. We can't really do that one then. Not yet. I mean, we should probably start uh, saving up a decent bit for the heavy industry now. That was slowly getting the productions up and all that. I suppose another thing that I should check is how is the supply route going into Sir Jody? Oh, it seems to be mostly fine. It's a bit of, um, well, it does diminish a little bit in there. I can also see that they've got a lot of uh, troops there. So I guess what we'll do is we'll set up a bit of defenses around here. So they can't just march into the city because if they do that, that's going to be bad. I might actually move these to the city as well. And we could have um, this one go for the oil, I guess, to protect that one. Go and check. Okay, so there must be something here. Which means that we could try advancing that one, but I think we're going to avoid that for now. We really need to get some recall units in here, quite frankly. Honestly, can we raise a formation in here? If we go for an independent... Even just the motorcycles might be fine in here. Fairly cheap. Biker 2, so it requires a little bit of fuel, but that is doable. It would take a deep... Well, it would actually take a fairly little of logistics, so yeah, we can do that. If we can get a little bit intel on where the enemy is in here, we can slowly start pushing them back. And then maybe, eventually, we'll meet up with the arrival in here. Which has two hexes now instead of one. Now, there is a bit of tanks. Oh, actually. Well, there's bare threes in here. Uh, they've got quite a bit of uh, hit points and all that. Although, if we have a look at our all-rounders, what is the... Oh, yeah, we've got a pretty good heart attack in there. And we've got very good hit points, so in theory, uh, we should be able to push them out, but at the same time it's going into forest, so that's minus 70 percent attack value. Probably not something we'll want to do quite yet. And we've got the troops in the south, so let's push these into position. We could potentially send in some of these uh, up north, and this can stand on the road. Don't know what is in there. If we had a bit of recon in here, we probably would know. All right, let's uh, go ahead and uh, repeat the range attack in here. They might have a bit more artillery now, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it seems we have 10 guns. Surely they won't hit our artillery, right? 
If they do, we can replace them with a bigger one, so it's actually win-win. Okay, so we got a few hits, but nothing too bad, and they got a few hits on us. Okay, I don't know too much about this. There must be something in here, though. I can move in. Oh, actually, that's going to have uh, some supply issues. Let's uh, get a bit of a road going through here. Just see if we get the road up to there somewhere. It might not be able to have the trucks go all the way through. And simultaneously, we could continue the dirt road down this way. Oh, we're not far away from the Tomonish Republic in here. Still only have one city, though. <laughs> That's not a smart way to do it. We have a victory over you. So we only got 20 points. Uh, Athenian community 24.2. So they got most of the population. And they control a quarter of the planet as well. So yeah, they are pretty strong overall. You know, they won't be able to win quite yet. But they might definitely be the potential, at least a potential winner. Or even the likely winner in this uh, playthrough. I guess a lot depends on how quickly we can start making a breakthrough on the enemy lines in here. If we can destroy most of these tanks and then start pushing further in, then we've got a pretty good chance of uh, beating them. Oh, right. I suppose another thing that I could do now is uh, let's take the traffic signs over here. And we are going to say that um, no tr uh, trucks go down that way. That's going to save us a little bit of uh, logistics points going in here, because we can just use the connection through here. As long as we don't lose that one, of course. But that will probably reduce the logistics sort of wastage through here, because that is a very long road. And there's not... like I suppose we've got the supply base in here now, but that's mostly just to supply the troops there, quite frankly. But I guess we're ready for the next round. We've definitely got a lot of metal. So, oh, we didn't send the colonists anywhere. Right, we should probably send those to Sir Jody next round. Well, there wasn't much happening there, so I just cut that a uh, bit entirely, hopefully. Ah, right, so we did not get the civilization score high enough, but we did get the meritocracy at least, so that's good. And, like, if we have a look, there was no battles. Oh, it was just the grasshoppers doing the air bridge. We did see that the unit over here, or whatever is in here, is moving a little bit forward. Well, let's have a look at the decisions. Total power in the state. Uh, you are... Oh. Um, I'd say the population do actually have some rights. You ask us to participate. Let's have a look at the modifiers. We could probably use a bit more production, quite frankly. And we can customize some formations. So what do we have already done? We've done the... Motorized Heavy Machine Gun Infantry Brigade. Uh, we got the Light Armor 2 Brigade. Well, I don't remember what we added in there, but it's quite expensive to switch or change that now. Uh, Independent Mechanized AT Brigade. Light Infantry Brigade, or Light Infantry 2 Brigade, rather. Um, we could... All right, we got the Independent Motorized Flak Battalion. How about we take this one and we add in a bit of artillery. 50 artillery. Probably going to be quite um, expensive to build and all that. But it's going to be having trucks anyway, so we can move fairly quickly. It'll probably require a decent bit of fuel, admittedly. I think it does require a new name, though. Let's call it Independent uh, Motorized Flak. Flash RT. And see how it's an emergency. Uh, we could help the corporation. Oh, right, yeah. The government is pretty low. Yeah, we could do that. Um, they're offering to buy some points in somebody. How much do we have? Uh, I mean, we've got a decent bit. We could probably afford selling that. That's a lot of money, by the way, so I want that. Alienations asked for tech. Is that the same one again? No, there's a different one. You know what? We can probably give them some tech to improve our relations. Yeah, there's plus 20 relations with them. That's pretty decent. Uh, that was the one over here, which we already have a peace treaty with. Could I... Well, I suppose I could send a Xeno Diplomat in there to yes, check on if we could maybe start uh, bringing them into fold. Because that's the one that has a large border with our... Well, I suppose it is technically still, speaking still ally, although the one that is blackmailing us, or trying to anyway. Is this one... Oh, no, that's... No one's land there. Interesting. Right, do we have fuel to do a bit of an attack in here? Uh, at least... Oh, yeah, we do. All right, then... Bit of a tank battle. 
Ooh, we actually lost a metal head. And a lot. Oh no, that was the blocker, not the all-rounder. Okay, so we did destroy still one expert from them. We lost a uh, one heavy and one or well, ten heavy and ten medium tanks. Technically speaking, that was the assault guns. To be fair, not really geared towards fighting against enemy tanks. Uh, right, and we destroy one, two, three, four. Plus one X, two experts, and, and oh wow, yeah, that was actually pretty good to battle in there. We took some casualties, but you know, they had the numbers advantage for sure. And now we push them even further back. So I guess it might be time to move these in here. I'm gonna move this one into the city, or into the, well, um, power plant. That's uh, a little bit tanks there. Oh, yeah, I'm going to move this one in here, and we're going to start uh, raiding artillery from the mountain. That seems like a smart idea. They've got quite a bit of troops in here still. And that's still the infantry. We don't really have the... You know what? That is seasoned. First of all, let's go ahead and get the replacement troops. I know that we do need a bit. So, armor, We I suppose we could get just one all-rounder right now. And then we need a heavy tank. Which is a bit more expensive. But those metal heads have been definitely worth the effort of uh, building them. I mean, sure enough, they eat all your uh, fuel. But, oh, actually, speaking of fuel, what I could do... I could actually get the railway up to here. And... I could construct a railhead in here. Could be fairly cheap to build. And, well, I suppose we... I'm going to send in a bit more uh, workers to... Kazoo? I'm gonna send in like, I don't know, 600 maybe? Not gonna spend all of these in one place. And the rest can go to Sir Jody, because I know that we definitely have a quite a demand for workers in there as well. But there we go, that's a little bit better now. So, we actually have stabilized the situation over here. Oh, right, we got the artillery. How about we drop a few rounds of artillery in there? Oh no, it doesn't have action points enough. Never mind. Yeah, the supply situation over here is a bit dire. Now, I suppose one of the things that I could do is start upgrading a bit more of the road in here. Especially, maybe the road up to here. I don't know if that's going to be helpful. I suppose, construct road, seal road. So if we start from there, get to the oasis, that's going to be 270. Might not really help that much. But maybe it will make the trucks be able to reach a bit further in there. Who knows? Most likely not, uh, though. I think having a railhead over here or something, well, rather, right now it might be better to just have, is that one actually a, that's a truck station, so a supply depot in here, it's probably actually a smart idea, or supply base, so we'll get that there, and that's going to increase the range that we can bring the trucks in, so yeah, it's slightly better, and of course, if we were to get a rail all the way through here, somewhere in there, for example, that would be already pretty decent, uh, we might need to get a bit better transport through here as well to get all the resources from Sir Jody up to, well, where they're needed. Let's get another machine. Uh, we could use a bit more ammo, but I suppose we're not really having a lack of it quite yet, so we can hold on to that one. Move a little bit of the troop around, and I guess we could take this one, have it on the forest there, just so that we can sort of... Uh, Stop them from uh, rushing all the way in, at least. Next round, we get the artillery so we can start doing a bit of uh, strikes there. Or we'll hopefully have the action points, let's just say. We might not, but we'll see. So over here, we're still kind of uh, just uh, waiting over here. We'll at least push the enemies back quite a bit. And this one's... Uh, well, there's a bit of um, armored cars and a bit of tanks. Oh, fortress posture. Uh, max entrenchment plus 70%, overall defense plus 30, but action points and overall attack minus 70%. Oh, now that is interesting. This one's got the defense, so it's a bit of extra defense, less attack. So they've realized that they can't really push me out, so they've switched to defense, and of course I've got the infantry on defense mostly. Which, you know, helps a little bit. I suppose actually, this one doesn't have a... or sure at all right now. Blue defense... Infantry artillery get plus 40% on defense, mechanized forces get minus 30% on defense, plus 30% attack. I'm gonna go for that one. I mean, this one's just uh, a bit of infantry, but it's, oh, this is the siege infantry, so you, it's just infantry and artillery anyway. 
Ah, right. Uh, hold on. I mean, we need to go for the headquarters of this, of course. The fluid defense. I should make the troops over here perform better as well. And there's something's trying to push through here. I'm going to pull this one back a little bit. We at least got the supplies in here now. So that's going to be making life a little bit easier. Over here, we got a bit of a brought loads of the supplies. Uh, did we build something in Spokemania by chance? Uh, we're not building anything there right now. Over here, we've got just a supply base. Technically speaking, if we were to build a little bit of a road or better road through here, that might already help a little bit. I mean, it's a bit of a long distance. And of course, another thing was or would be to do another truck. Uh, well, actually, over here, having a maybe another supply base there and then a truck station over there, for example, would allow us to at least uh, get the supplies through a little bit further. So, yeah, what we'll do is we'll get another supply base here then. It's a fairly cheap option. Yes, sir. So that will at least be done quickly. And I guess it's off to the next round then. Because we did do the fighting in here already, I believe. Yeah. We could still move there, but I'm not going to do that. So let's see what they do, if anything. They might not do it too much. I think they are kind of uh, desperate at this stage. And they still got the massive uh, doom stack in the north, but I'm not entirely sure if they... Oh, okay. So the southern front line is now activating a little bit, I reckon. And we might also have another front line in the north soon enough. The Pruderland being... Well... They've probably got a lot of troops. I don't think they... Um, economy might be quite weak, actually. So I don't think they'll be able to recuperate the losses because they've been a tiny nation for at least half the game. Look, we got under attack over there. We did get pushed back. We killed 200 walkers versus 200 infantry. Oh, crisis passion. Uh, risk of suffering unrest related events. Okay. There we go. All rounder two completed. Oh, look at the decisions. Safety regulations. I think we're going to reverse the leader's actions. A reformist league demands that you hire the candidate. I guess we will. I mean, it does cost us a little bit having all those leaders doing nothing, but it's not too bad. It's at least having a lot of options. Air Force Research Council Task Priorities. I think we're going to keep it as is now. No changes there, and now we need to figure out what exactly we're going to design next. Uh, we could, of course... Hmm. Do I get a light aircraft uh, for... Or maybe even a medium aircraft at this stage? Ooh, no, light helicopter. That Now that could be something. So this is going to be a... Right, that's high altitude, so that's not, not really going to be working quite... Tactical bomber. I think that's... Or oh, fighter bomber. We have a tactical bomber. Um, right, we could go for... Was this a light helicopter? Probably not too heavy. Go for medium rotor engine. Let's see, if we go for 800 liters of fuel. Air-to-air uh, -air weapons, we could maybe have a... Which one was... Okay, so that's 100 real weight on all of these. We go for a little bit of a machine gun, maybe. And then... Let's see, very small rockets. That's 30 air firepower. Free ammo. That wouldn't necessarily be too bad. It's 100 real weight. Uh, if we go for the... Oh, right, yeah, that's uh, bomb loads. Okay, I'm going to go for the very small rockets then. That sounds like a helicopter thing to do. No cargo space. So, max operation range, 8 hexes. It's a viable light aircraft design. It's got a decent max range, actually. Airspeed might not be enough, but, you know, I think uh, we are going to take this one. We're going to have our helicopters moving around. Schedule meeting with alien natives. We could ask them to learn the language. Or we could organize a ceremony to... We're going to try to make them all... We're going to try to learn them uh, language. Uh, let's see. Progress has been made. Aliens seem to have uh, been much amused. Okay. Improved relations, at least. All uh, right, let's have a look at the battles. I know that we had at least... Oh, all right, there's... Some battles in the south, and we had this one where we killed 200 of the enemies and we lost 200. And they pushed us back. And that's about it in terms of um, battles. Uh, so we know that there's something trying to push through here. And maybe it actually went into the ocean already. But yeah. Oh, right, we got the... Aha, there it is. Amorphous salamanders. Um, they got okay hit points, but beyond that, it's not too bad. 
Uh, with the bikers in here, I think we have the firepower to defend against them. Not necessarily push them back, but defend against them. Right, we're going to bring this one into Sir Jody. That one could be at Coral. And now, do we have... We've got a little bit of action points. Well, let's go ahead and start doing a bit of range attack then. Unlikely that they'll fire pack. Oh, well, that's a one kill already. And these are still the old versions, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Probably not quite enough uh, logistics in here for this, but it's all right. Uh, over here we are... Um, right, we got pushed back. We do need to get a bit more reinforcements, I suppose. Or replacements. So we needed to get some machine guns. I guess we'll get some of the AMGs. We get 200 of them. I'll have a little bit of replacement, or a few future replacements as well. Get on the oil there, and I suppose this one's in a pretty bad shape. This is militia though, and there's another militia. Just gonna group these up. We've got a fairly strong uh, group here. I guess can these two? No, those are different types, so they can't combine. Now we did have a bit of an air attack in there, so how about if we just use the mercenaries? We might be able to deal some damage. Okay, lost two, killed one. Not exactly ideal. What about over here? Ah, right, so they're moving back. Don't know if it's right there, though. Nope, it wasn't. Okay, so at least we've got a bit of the front line in here. Preparation against the western enemies. Oh, they're taking that. I'm not going to build the road in there, though. I'm sure that they would love that, but I would not want to do that. Not right now, anyway. Don't know. I think these are mechanized troops. So we could do a quick little range attack with the irregular artillery. Probably not going to be... Oh, well, we've got a hit. Even with the irregulars, which is a bit of a surprising, quite frankly. Because they are quite rubbish. Oh. Oh. It's only the Kubel bargain in there. All right. Let's send in the light tanks to destroy that, then. Well, we've pushed it out, and then over here they've got some of the tanks. We'll probably send in the all-rounders to destroy that. We might not have enough the... Hmm. Or we could send in the metalheads to clear that one. Seems like the metalheads were a pretty good option there. Push it out. We're a fairly little rounds. I mean, it was... Actually, how many rounds was there? Not many. And we destroyed the, well, 30 tanks, and we also got rid of the people's hero once again. Uh, right, so do I want to move in? Hmm, first of all, move that one in there. I can probably move with the all rounders in here, and then move with the infantry. Uh, I could move the heavy tanks in there, I guess. Keep a little bit of troops in the background there. Uh, but with the heavy tanks and, well, motorcycles and all that, so. Now this stack might be a little bit harder to defeat, but what we can do is we can clear out some of this and try to encircle them, destroy them. Because getting rid of all of these tanks would be quite a massive blow on the economy, I reckon. I mean, if we have a look at the stats that we know of their regime, so there's the Hochstein overview. Don't actually know all that much. No, nope. okay. Well, let's have a look at the Victory overview then. So we know that, okay, they've got the third largest population. Uh, they got the third highest um, victory score, and they got the third largest uh, um, portion of the planet. Which, to be fair, oddly enough, or funnily enough, rather, um, Hochstein and Timonish Republic, which are the two enemies that we have, combined have a little bit more territory of the planet than I do, and they've got a bit more, well, a decent bit more population than I do. But still, I've got a fairly decent uh, advantage over them in terms of at least the troop quality on the front line. Not necessarily all the qualities, but, you know, at least some of it. Do a bit of range attack on there. No hits there. You know what, what I might want to do is just uh, replace this with... Oh, I can't. Maybe that's because it already fired this round. Let's, uh, for example, over here. Can we replace? No, there's no option for... Oh, okay. Maybe it can't be delivered there? I don't know. Oh, it might not be an option to easily replace that because it's a bit, uh, or a fair bit larger gun in there. But yeah, we managed to push them already almost past the river. I mean, if we can just encircle these 
Okay, across the river. Actually, if we could reach that river, that would be even better, of course. But the things are getting better. How's the... Oh, right, the railhead is not quite yet completed. But once that is done, that's going to allow us to get supplies in here even easier. We are going to need a bit more fuel, though, soon enough, I reckon. And also, we can get another machinery. Or another machine. And also, what we can do is we can get a bit more ammo. Maybe not that much, but a decent bit. We've got 8,000 metals. We've got plenty of ammo. Uh, we are going to need a lot more oil, though. I suppose... Yeah, I suppose the oil drill over here isn't running full speed yet. I suppose if I send in the colonists in here as workers, that might increase the production's total. Not for time, that's going to be making a decent difference in that. Did we get the... Right, we got the supply base in here now. So next round, the supplies should be able to reach here a little bit easier. Not necessarily um, miracles or anything like that. But we are unfortunately out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.